spoken all evening and has been delivered. I am a graduate of Snyder High School. And when I came from there, there was only 300 people in the graduating class. And only 35 of us were black. I have a BA from Rutgers, a master's from Rutgers, and a PhD from Snyder. I take it as a personal affrontery to me as a female, to me as an Afro-American that was born, raised three generations in Jersey City, that people will come into this town that have not been here more than 10 years or less, get upset what has been an evolution from where it once was to where we have gone now, and this town is now turning itself around to feel that it's an injustice to go into our neighborhoods and go to school. It is not right, it's unfair, it is deplorable that you would even think that little Jane and little Johnny can't go to school there. I don't like it, I don't like it. My grandchildren are in the system and my great-grandchildren in the system. One at Academy One, which is right next door to Snyder, one's up in Dickinson, and the other one's in 22. And they're doing extremely well. If you put the time into your children, you monitor the system, you monitor them, they'll do well. And I don't drive my kids to school. They go to school on their own because they have to learn how to socialize with everyone. What you don't know is that I'm on the Affirmative Action Committee. And I've made it my business that now every single person, every single student will be measured in our system. We're doing statistics on everything that exists here so we can get a picture of what is really here. I had Mr. Wayne do the high schools. It's okay, because we're gonna do middle school, and we're gonna do elementary <laughs> school, and we're gonna do K, K to five, and we're gonna do preschool. And when we get finished doing that, and that database is unloaded into the firm of action with Ms. Jones, we're going back to the board and do a statistical planning on how we can diversify this district like it should be done. We're also getting ready to look at the contracts here. We're going to start in September, look at all of the contracts and see how many locals get contracts here, how many women get contracts, women get contracts here, and how many minorities get contracts here. We work here. I don't care what you think about me or our board members. We all work hard for this district. If Mr. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Epps has problems, it's because the view that he needed to see, he didn't see. Well, that's why you elected us to make sure that small things that are really big things are not being seen will be seen. Legal has a different perspective now. They now take all the legislation that impacts your students, be it senatorial or assembly, and they give you a report every month. And at the end of the year, it's a document made given to every parent in every school. That didn't happen overnight. It happened because the board was concerned and the board wanted you to have information. I will not sit here as a Jersey City born, third generation person, sit here and let you talk about 